never Megan's fault, is it? No, no, it can never be Megan's fault. As Harry pointed out very early on in the relationship, what Megan wants, Megan gets. But clearly, these things those days are well and truly over. What I find fascinating, though, is that people will still, you know, sort of bend down just to appease them. Maybe they just don't want the tears and the tantrums. You know, who knows? But anyway, seemingly, she got a wig off over this, as ever. Let me explain. Morning, nice to see you. Thanks so much as ever for joining me. Nice to have your company. Lovely. Yeah, by the way, welcome one and all brand new subscribers. I am genuinely thrilled. I know I often say this, but it just keeps rising. It's all down to you. We've built a wonderful community here and it is nice to see the things that you like and you don't like. Obviously, you know, there are certain people that don't agree and they don't necessarily like the stories. And I love these people that say, do you do anything other than Harry and Meghan? And you think, yes, but you've chosen to click on this. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, how do you spell that out? You know what I'm saying? I don't mind what you want to click on, but there are other options there. News, there's nostalgia. I try and give you literally a good palette of news for the day so that you've got something that hopefully may cheer you up, may make you smile, or at least make you think about how the world is around the world. Because obviously I'm here and you're there. You know different stories. You know, you know what's happening in your part of the world. It's a bit like this. Megan apparently is furious. And as ever, heads could roll over this. This is all because of the American Riviera orchid thing. Uh, launched back in March, a few pots of jam, a couple of dog biscuits, and well, that's it really, you know. I mean, it was supposed to be this great thing that was going to turn heads, you know. So far, seemingly, it's just turned stomachs because people don't know where they are with it. And what's more fascinating, I think, is how the situation is developing, you know. I say developing, I mean lack of developing, because part of the idea was that Megan was going to be selling you a lifestyle brand. So you could buy anything from like salt and pepper shakers to, you know, uh, olive oil sort of distributor, dispenser, whatever you want to call it. They were looking at everything. But all of that needs to be, well, you know, crossed and teed, as it were. The idea is that, you know, if you want to go legal with this, you have to have all of that in place. Now, what's emerged is that many of these things have not been registered yet, which apparently is causing a delay and a cost. Not a colossal cost, I might point out, but a reasonable cost nonetheless. Apparently the person who was in charge of this calamity, um, how should we say, uh, well, there's an exit door, you know what I mean? And <laughs> that revolving door at Archwell. And the other side of the coin is this, you see, now Netflix are getting involved simply because apparently they're going to take on all of this branding. This is kind of like a new thing for them. Now, I would suspect that this is truly going to happen because clearly this is going nowhere. They know that with the cooking show, Megan probably is already on to the political thing and moving forward with the parent thing, all that sort of stuff. Interest wanes very quickly in the mind of Meghan Markle, let me tell you. Now, if Netflix take this on, it's minimal to them, you know, but they then own the brand right. And if they want to try and sell things later on, maybe baseball hats, who knows, you know, babies dummies. You just never know, do you? That's the thing about marketing and branding. Well, the deal really would mean that they, she would get a percentage and they would keep the lion's share. Now, I can't quite see who's going to want to buy any of this sort of stuff. Could be wrong, maybe there is a market for it, but you see it with a lot of celebrities, don't you? And you think, well, who wants that? You know, And then you see it in the pound shop very quickly. So obviously this is what's happening moving forward. She's apparently been distraught, furious as to the lack of organization. And I'm quoting, quote, um, I pay these people lots of good money to organize things that they're supposed to be good at. Why does it always fall down to me? Unquote, allegedly. And you can understand that. I would say that on her behalf, that if you do pay people, and I'm sure they are paying them reasonably well, the bottom line is they should be able to do these things. But this has been the problem. The whole setup from the start with the Archwell stuff, everything has been run by amateurs, led by someone who wants the final say, who's clearly got no idea. Netflix are trying to smooth this over so that finally they get something out of it, maybe for the return. They've had acres and acres of free publicity but that hasn't really resulted in subscriptions. If anything, that's proven something of a negative. So moving forward now, if you were looking to buy things, it could take some time. And we're now being told that American Riviera might not launch in full until early next year. Can we wait? Really? Stop teasing us, Megan. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.